And after a few days of waiting, we are officially in Lancashire Blackpool. Upon entering the town center, we are greeted by the magnificent Paris Church of Blackpool, St. John the Evangelist, or aka as St. John's Blackpool. It is an Anglican church in Blackpool, and it was completed in 1878. Yes, komo na lang dito ang mga lumang gusali. Mabibighani ka na lang sa kanilang mga arkitektura na masasabing na preserve mula sa kanilang mga ninuno. Tahimik man dahil sa dulot ng pandemic ay di mo malintana dahil mas mapapansin mo ang lamig. Upon our way to the next block, we are also amazed by the Sacred Heart Church, a Roman Catholic Church near the seaside part of Blackpool. Just after that, we decided to take the train going to the nearby city called Preston. It was granted its city status in 2002, becoming the England's 50th city in the 50th year of Queen Elizabeth's reign. You can still enjoy the town ambience of this city. A plenty of pathways for the shopper to enjoy their pleasure into shopping. And if you get tired, just 50 yards from the main retail district, hides a quiet resting place for you. Yes, in the middle of the city, you'll find and enjoy a quaint and sleepy ambience of the Winkley Square Gardens. A peaceful urban refuge from the busy pace of city life. So we are now at Preston uh, Park. It is 2 degrees, 2 degrees I believe, and it's so quiet here. We're now heading back to the town. Let's go. Hindi ko alam kung bakit, noong dumaan ako dito, parang gusto kong humugot ng baril at kutsilyo na malahulyo balyente. Kidding aside, syempre di mawawala ang mga street performers na haharaan sa iyo habang naglalakad, adding more accent and unique ambience to the place, and you'll be hooked by the moment you pass by. And enjoy na lang namin the rest of the time na nandiyan kami, namili ng kung ano-ano, at want to sawa na window shopping. May mga vape shop kung saan-saan, at may mga thrift shop sa mga nagtitipid at may mga designer brands naman para sa mga may ekstrang budget. In this part of the city stands the mighty obelisk erected in 1782 beside the big and beautiful building of Harris Museum, art gallery and library. Founded by Edmund Harris in 1877 and it still operates as a local history and fine art museum. A weather-tested barrier like this separates the traffic from the pedestrians, giving you the whole street as your own space for shopping. You'll be surprised how time quickly passes by, and walking for hours surely will make you hungry. Good thing we already seen this food cart near the market center that is serving rice. Yes, rice is live! For Filipinos like us, the world rice from his food cart seems like a shining beam of light that calls us from afar. Can you believe that? Yes, and eating in the rain is the norm here. So how is it? So cold! Ubi na akong Pinas! <laughs> so we're now walking half down here, looking for a bus station going to Cubao. We can't find any. So, and at this moment, we just had our first snow experience, and that is here in Preston. It's getting colder now, so we decided to head back home. 
Hindi ko nga kalayan. Hindi ko na malayan na marami na kaming dala pa uwi. Kalayan mo yun? Kala ko window shopping lang. Siyempre, nandito na lang din kayo. Itutur ko na rin kayo sa isa sa pinakamalaking supermarket nearby our place. We have to take a quick 20 minute bus ride and we decided to sit on the second level para makita nyo yung place while on the road. It's only 5pm. Madilim na. It's normal here and we are still getting used to it. And few minutes later, we are now in Tesco. It's their own version of SM supermarkets and plenty of free parking space for the shoppers. Oh, tingnan nyo na ang prices ng mga bilihin dito. Pero pag andito ka na, roll of a thumb, huwag ka magkoconvert sa peso para di ka mamahalan. Napakamura na pagkain dito. For the two of us, we only need a budget of approximately less than 130 pounds per month. And this is our town signature spot, the mighty Blackpool Tower, resting in front of the beach facing the North Atlantic Ocean. Open to the public on May 14, 1894, The Blackpool Tower was the tallest man-made structure in the British Empire during that time. A lot of tourist attraction everywhere, but one thing we will not miss, and that is to taste the local donut served with hot chocolate. Sa malamig na lugar. Hot choco. What? Picture pa. What? So it's a must have na kakain tayo ng donut dito sa tapat ng prom na. Itong donut na to, doon lang namin siya. Sa tapat lang ng Central PM. Central PM. It's a must try. You get your good luck food. A few inches later, and we enjoyed the rest of the night walking on the promenade. We will be back here to block the place once everything comes back to normal, and we wish that this pandemic will end soon. Hoping everyone is well and safe during this time. And thank you so much for watching. So that's it guys, hope you liked the video and I uh, hope to see you in the next vid from Blackpool UK, goodbye. Okay,